okay so let's take a look at lattice package in our language so first start with installation of that package so if you go to packages tab within our studio you will find option to install this package as you can see this is already available so i managed to just show you where to install it so in case of our studio just go with install packages option alternatively if you are in rgui you can use install packages and then lattice right that should work as well now when you want to use this library simply call for lattice right and then hit enter right so let's clear the console and take a look at one of the plots right so for this let's import iris data right now next thing is calling for xy plot that takes sepal dot length and then tilde petal dot length right and then basically pointing to your iris data right this should output the scatter plot and that appears within viewer tab and if you are on rgui it will appear on another similar window right so that was scatter plot so let's take a look at 3d scatter plot now for that we make use of cloud function and within that we pass on simple dot length uh, then tilde simple dot length into your petal dot width hopefully i'm getting uh, the spelling correct and not uppercase lowercase problem hopefully otherwise it will create error as is okay so as you can see it has created that error so let's go with petal width and here you see your 3d scatter plot showing simple length petal width and simple length again right so you get the uh, scatter plot in both 2d and 3d next we can go for let's see box plot now in case of box plot let's try some different data which is tooth growth right so we'll call for this data now what i want to do is want to get tooth growth and specifically output let's say dose right and then use that as a factor so as factor for this data we will get dose right so tooth growth and uh, dose right now next thing is we use bw plot function which is basically a box plot function that shows len dose and then data equals to tooth growth and then we will have x lab and y lab values which is basically dose and length right right so if i hit enter it should show me that box plot right similarly there is one more plot that you can check which is your dot plot right so dot plot requires you to go for length and then dose and then let's say data equals to tooth growth and then x lab dose and then y lab into length right so that's for dot plot and as you can see length versus dose with our tooth growth data now 
similarly we can also use to grow data for density plot so to draw that plot we will clear console and go for density plot function within lattice package and then basically we will get till length and then data equals to tooth growth and the next is plot points we can set to false right and here you see your density plot similarly we can also go for histogram which is right histogram length then breaks equals to 20 right and if we hit enter it generates one histogram right so now the next thing is we go with few basic plots that we have uncovered which are line and bar chart so let's go with our line plot so for that we take the data and for data I'm basically creating a data frame with values for our X and Y so 3 1 2 sorry 3 1 let's say 4 2 and then 5 3 so that's your uh, data with X Y values then let's say if I create lag plot which is basically X Y plot showing you your equation y tilde x and then data equals to data and then finally type of the plot is l for line and then if i draw lat plot it should output the lat plot right now let's go ahead with our another plot which is going to be bar chart for that we again call for tooth growth right so after that we simply call for bar chart then get the length and a dose and data which is tooth growth right so it should output that length to dose bar chart right it's a bit uh, larger data so you can modify as per your wish right pick up any other data like iris or maybe empty cars and you can uh, minimize the observations within that chart as you can see this is horizontal bar chart you can change that to vertical if you want right now let's take a look at heat map right so for heat map what we will do is we will get a bunch of data points right so let's say sequence and within that 1 to 10 then the length dot out right and then y 1 to 10 then length out equals to Right, so we have x y values now we can have data equals to expand right dot grid and x equals to x y y equals to y right hopefully uh, i didn't mess up with any values so here we have uppercase x and has to be the case y right now we have data two and now data dollar set right so within that we basically use run if right and then few values 400 let's say zero and maybe five okay that range would do 
then we call for level plot so that's one of the plot we can use for heat map so let's say what Z is basically tilt with x y then we come with data equals to data and then we use main and let's keep it as is without passing in anything and here you see your level plot right this is the plot that is pointing you the heat map signature for the data within our x y and z values so these are some of the plots that you can draw with lattice package